Hey guys, what is up my friends, family, and loved ones? Let's see, uh, you're currently on one hell of a growth phase, spiritually, I mean. Uh, you're kind of currently on a fast track right now. All right, and what I mean by that is, you might be noticing that there are, of course, strange circumstances and events that are forcing you to really come into your own empowerment whether or not the ego wants to. But more specifically, you might be noticing people leaving your life for whatever reason. Or perhaps there's just not many people around in general. Perhaps you've gone into like a hermit type of phase where you just aren't giving anyone any of your time, really. All right, and that's just, that's just a bit of it. But the fact of the matter is, is that you're evolving. All right, it's, it's because of your own spiritual evolution and the growth phase that you're going through that people tend not to want to be around right now. And it's because they see the evolution that you're going through. And they want a piece of it. Subconsciously. But since they realize that they can't have it, not without putting in the work like you did, then they think it's not that good enough. They think it's not good enough for them. Right? If they can't get a piece of the cake, then they're going to say it doesn't taste that good anyway. Stay away from envious people and stay away from pessimistic people. All right? They have a, a grand way of just bringing you down because everything is a matter of perspective. The only reason someone is envious or pessimistic, and the reason I use those hand in hand is because they kind of always go hand in hand. Pessimistic people always see the bad in life. That therefore means that they're always envious of those that have it better, which is really just their perception of having it better. Like a young kid, far too infatuated with social media to realize that it's inherently fake a lot of the time. So stay away from them, all right? They're not, they're not really worth the energy. And you need that energy for you, for the growth phase that you're going through right now. All right, and speaking of that growth, I wanna give you all five signs that you are going through one of these phases. Of course, there could be a multitude of other signs given that there's a multitude of types of personalities out there. But these are pretty core. And I bet in some way, shape, or form, you can twist them to have a meaning that really fits your exact situation based on what you're going through. And the first of them is that whether you have gone through something or you currently are going through something, you're able to see the lesson to be learned even if you haven't fully integrated it yet. All right, you see what exactly there is in a situation that needs to be gained from it, even if it is perceived as a negative thing, even if you're still going through the motions of trying to live it yourself, you're able to recognize that which you need to achieve. All right, so that's the first sign. The second sign is you begin seeing challenges in life as how long they will take you to accomplish them rather than how hard it might be to overcome them. All right, gone are the days of you seeing a situation and going, that's just gonna be too difficult to deal with. Now, your mind immediately jumps to, and even in a worst case scenario, this is gonna take me a hell of a long time, but it's a given that it's gonna get done. You might just be annoyed it's going to take a while. You begin seeing challenges in your life as how long it will take to accomplish them, not how difficult they are in general. All right, the third sign is that you see more opportunities for growth in your day-to-day -day life than you ever would have before. All right, you see chances everywhere around you, a random act of kindness over here, and... You know, learning a valuable lesson over here. Don't get 
I don't know, angry again, or else you'll stomp on the ground if you're a child and knock something off and break something again. You know, I'm just giving you simplistic examples. Fit them into your own life. But you're seeing more opportunities than you ever have before in your life to grow. Who you are deep down as a person. Right? And the fourth thing is more tough love. Especially towards yourself. All right. Now this tough love can come off as kind of rude or kind of mean if you're still in the early stages of your awakening, if you're still quote unquote immature. But tough love towards others, but especially towards yourself. You're tired of the old habits. You're tired of the old way of doing things and you're wanting an entirely new way to go about these situations. All right, and that's kind of a bit of an extension off of the last one, more chances for growth in life. You know, if you're really tough on yourself, but in a healthy, loving type of way, then that in and of itself is what's expediting so many opportunities for chance to even appear in your life. Right? It takes tough love. It takes tough love on yourself and you know others if they're on the path with you, but don't, don't waste your time. Just focus on you. Focus on being good to yourself, but not allowing yourself to just run rampant with your old habitual patterns because you're able to recognize those now. You're able to see the algorithm like we spoke about last video and break free from that and use it as you see fit. All right, and the fifth sign is that it's easier to speak your mind and it's harder to lie to yourself. All right, easier to speak your mind, that, you know, and to be honest, you could be a completely, you know, un, unrealized version of yourself, a completely un awakened, sleeping individual. And if you're extroverted enough, you can, you'll be able to speak your mind. But when I talk about that, I talk about speaking your mind from your core. Someone who is, you know, the classic definition of not, still, not awoke at all, still sleeping, extremely extroverted, extremely, you know, involved with the world, they're probably going to be speaking their mind from their ego's perspective. You're speaking your mind from your heart center. And you're becoming, it's becoming so much harder to lie to yourself because you're speaking to yourself from your heart center. All right? You're not going to be able to keep up a facade that you yourself know deep down isn't truly who you are anymore. All right, so again, those five signs for growth you see the lesson that there is to learn, even if you haven't fully integrated it yet. You see challenges. Number two, you see challenges as how long they will take, not how hard they will be to accomplish. Number three, you see more chances for growth in life in general, more opportunities for spiritual development. Number four, you've got more tough love for others, but especially for yourself. And it can come off as rude or mean if you're not yet mature in how to use that tough love. But it's beginning to manifest. That tough love for yourself is beginning to manifest. And number five, it's easier to speak your mind from your heart center and harder to lie to yourself because you're talking to your heart center when you're talking to yourself. All right, and that, those are just, those are five signs, like I said, that you're going through some type of spiritual growth right now. Stay away from people, like I said earlier, that are envious and pessimistic of the growth that you're going through. All right, the envious might not be as obvious as the pessimism, but when the pessimism comes, the envy is there, hidden. And they're just not worth the time. You gotta do you and take care of you. Let each and every other person out there just fall to the wayside.
all right? You have to take care of yourself during this hermit phase when you're cocooning yourself. There's a whole world out there that's just waiting for you to spread your wings when you break out of that cocoon. All right, no one's around you right now because you have to go through this metamorphosis using the cocoon analogy, using the caterpillar into a butterfly analogy. You have to go through that evolution alone in that cocoon. And you're on a fast track right now. And you're going to be able to accomplish more than you ever thought you could as soon as you spread your wings. So fly, butterfly, fly. Thank you all for listening. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. It's always great to get a chance to speak to you all and just kind of speak my mind. I love you all so much. Be safe, be well, be happy, and be positive all day, every day. Love you.